The wait to vote at the Ben Hirsch Shriners Temple on West Anderson Lane was just minutes at lunchtime. Oh, it was easy. Yeah. Yeah, the, the line moved quickly. Rip Sutton meant to vote Thursday, but came today instead. This is a big presidential election year. Lots of people have opinions. I've never seen anything this big before. Yeah. So there's a huge turnout as far as I've heard. That's what brought first-time voter Scout Goldsmith to the poll. She is 18 years old. I have been waiting to vote since I was 10 years old, and I watched Hillary Clinton lose, and my life has been overshadowed uh, by politics basically ever since. In fact, across the country, 41 million members of Gen Z, defined as people between the ages of 16 and 27 right now, are eligible to vote. One survey showed that 82 percent were motivated to vote in this election, making Goldsmith's vote part of a potentially very powerful group. And do you see a lot of enthusiasm with people your age? I do, but I don't know how much of that is just my social circle. I hang out with a lot of other people that kind of have the same views as me, and we're all very excited to vote. Here in Travis County, they are part of what is projected to be more than 50 percent of Travis County voters who have cast a ballot before early voting ends at 10 p.m. tonight. That's according to Travis County voter registrar Bruce Elfant, who this morning posted a graph on social media showing the voter turnout since 2008, the highest in 2016 and 2020. Today was the last day, so I wanted, wanted to take advantage of that. Um, um, and it's important for me, you know, to vote for, for, you know, for our future, for my kids' future. City Council candidate Mike Siegel was among a handful of candidates greeting people at the Ben-Hur location. He says the early voters have their minds made up when they get here. The folks who are coming in are anxious to get their business done. They already know who they're voting for and why, and uh, they don't really want to talk to us. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.